This is an introduction to the Chester AI Radiology Assistant. This is a web-based tool that diagnoses 14 diseases from chest x-ray images. What's unique about the system is that all processing occurs locally in the web browser. So no images are sent to us and also no computational cost is incurred by our group allowing this system to be available free for anyone in the world, anyone that has a web browser, including smartphones, uh, while at the same time preserving patient privacy because the images are never sent so that the patient information stays on the machine that's doing the processing. So I'll go over the basic elements of this system. Uh, so if we scroll down on this page uh, and then accept uh, that we acknowledge this is uh, um, not making a diagnostic, make, making a correct diagnosis. It's an experimental prototype tool. It's not been verified yet. What we see is the input image on the left. Uh, and then on the right, we see the predictions over 14 diseases. So here we see one high-risk disease and three unknowns, uncertainties. Well, and then on the left, a lot of these have been ruled out uh, as having a low, low probability of, of existing in this image. So if you want more information about this, we can click this uh, Compute Image Regions, which is going to explain the pixels in this image that are predictive of pushing all these to the right. So uh, what's going to be contained in here uh, in these regions uh, are going to explain all of them together. Right? So we see kind of three regions exist in this image that are somehow predictive of these diseases. Okay. An important attribute of this system is that it focuses on just predicting x-rays that have been validated uh, to be in, in, in the training distribution that was used to build the system. So uh, if there's an x-ray that's um, uh, not uh, uh, correctly oriented, such as this one, uh, the system will not process it. Or if there's a, um, an x-ray uh, or, or an image that has nothing to do with x-rays, it'll also not process that. But also importantly, x-rays that don't exist in the, the distribution uh, that we train the model on. Uh, so if, if, uh, if it was processed by an x-ray machine that has a, a weird uh, property in the image, uh, it, it will, instead of having an erroneous prediction, we will fail to predict it entirely and, and the system will not even give an answer. So we can look at its performance on some uh, in-distribution examples. Uh, and here we have a, an x-ray with cardiomegaly. Here an, an x-ray with cardiomegaly and effusion, right, as well as uh, hernia is predicted down here. So if we want to compute what made this prediction, we can kind of get, gain some insight into where to be looking on this image, uh, as well as uh, predicting on an image which has pneumonia. We can see that there's a lot of risk in this image, and if we compute the predictions, we can gain some insight into where the network, where the neural network was looking when it made these predictions. Uh, so thank you.